I'm Stefan Beckmeyer. I currently represent Ikman.lk, Sri Lanka's largest marketplace. You guys have got me into the hot seat today on Ask Me, and I'm ready to answer your questions. segment is actually me, so ready to fire away with what I'm all about. Hi Stefan. Hello, hi. What brings out the inner child in you? Anything silly, anything stupid, you can see the child emerge in me. Why did you choose your profession? Well, it's the opportunity to interact with people. And what's more ful fulfilling than actually getting to know people? What are your strengths? Strength, I would say, is the ability, ability to look at something and know how to make something out of it, perhaps. What is something you've never done that you've always wanted to do? This is going to be so embarrassing. I cannot swim to save my soul. What's one thing you've learned that most people don't know how to do? Listen, perhaps. Most memorable birthday? Probably my 21st, because we went out with a bunch of friends and it was just awesome. What would your perfect day be like? Perfect day would be perhaps at home. There's no place like home. Just relax, chill out, open the fridge, have what you want, whenever you want. That is my perfect day. What's the best comedy movie you've ever seen? It was about two female con artists. I thought it was hilarious. Title I just cannot remember. What's been the best concert you've attended? Perhaps it's yet to come. Maybe on my bucket list soon. Do you believe in luck? Not really. Life is what you make of it. You work hard, you would get what you want. What really makes you angry? Dishonesty is one thing that really gets my goal. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? My family, perhaps. Great wife, awesome daughter. Are you a clean or messy person? Definitely clean. I just can't bear to see things out of place. What does a successful relationship look like to you? Successful relationship would be understanding, knowing exactly what your partner wants and uh, moving forward in that context. What are you most looking forward to in 2020? Seeing my daughter graduate. What could you spend all day talking about? Can you actually talk about something all day? Uh, I don't know. I'm a TV fanatic, so perhaps some program that has interested me, perhaps. What's your favorite thing about your best friend? Ironically, if you ask me if I have a best friend, I would say no. I have a couple of friends because I have issues with trust. How many times a day do you look in the mirror? In the morning, so probably once in the morning, maybe three times a day. Yeah. What is your favorite three-word sentence? Just get it done. What was the most awesome excuse you've ever made? Perhaps once when, when we scaled the cemetery gate and the excuse for being in the premises at that time in the night was having left my sister's slippers behind when we came for a funeral earlier. Who is the most annoying person according to you? Uh, the most annoying person, not that I know these people well or who they are, but I find politicians utterly annoying. Where is your happy place? Like I said before, home. There's no place like home. What is the most impressive skill you have? I'm not sure whether I said this before, but perhaps the ability to see something and immediately understand it and know what to make out of it. And understanding people, I would say. Sometimes that could be a disadvantage as well, but I would call that a skill. If you could bring one musician back from the dead, who would it be and why? For sure, Whitney Houston, because she's got such an amazing voice. And uh, I just think she went way too soon. What do you define as loneliness? Well, obviously not having anyone around you, not having anyone to share your life or stories or exciting moments with. That would be pretty lonely. What animal best represents you and why? A dog, for sure. Because a dog, I mean, 
There's no one that greets you like your dog when you come home. They're always appreciative and they're around you. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I don't see myself retired or at home. I would probably still be working. Who knows, maybe own Nikman.lk. How would you spend a billion dollars? It would be certainly overwhelming to begin with. Obviously, it might sound cliche, but a part of it will go to charity. And certainly a lot for myself and my family. Travel the world, perhaps. In what ways do you hold yourself back? Like I said, I take time to get to know people. That would be holding myself back. How do you want to be remembered? Well, as somebody who contributed significantly and in general a good person. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? France has always been my favorite destination. The south of France, perhaps. What book has influenced you the most? Influenced? That would be a little bit difficult to say, but the book if you, if you think of a favorite author, it would be John Grisham, perhaps. So all his novels are pretty good. In what ways are you a leader? Well, I always believe in uh, leading from the front. You have to practice what you preach and basically set good examples. If you could change one law, what would it be? It would be cruelty to animals, that's for sure. What is your greatest failure and how did you overcome it? It was not really a failure, it was a decision that I made. I joined this company, which turned out to be an utter disaster. But as usual, you pick up the pieces and you move on from them. And here I am today. What is your greatest achievement and how has it shaped you? I guess you're only as good as what you last achieved, so perhaps my greatest achievement is still to come. If you could master one skill you don't have right now, what would it be? To be more technically savvy, that would be a skill that I would really like to get hold of. Which are you more likely to fight for, love or money? Love? Well, but you never know, might come along with money as well. Would you rather be a jack of many trades or a master of one? Certainly a jack of many trades, because rather than confine yourself to just one trade, you know a couple of trades I'm sure you will get much better. How would your best friends describe you? Certainly funny to begin with, absolutely stupid when we are together, and uh, a good friend. I'm sure that's how they would describe me. What makes you happiest? Happiest when your day just goes perfectly well and everything falls into place. That's what really makes me happy. Would you rather live in the city or in the woods? Probably the woods, but then as long as there is access to the city, perhaps. How do you define love? Having mutual understanding. I think that sums it. What age do you feel like you are right now? I feel 25, absolutely. Who knows you best? Most certainly my wife. What are you most proud of? Obviously my wife, my daughter, they've done so much. They've achieved such heights. Really proud of them. So that was the end of the first segment, actually me, and I guess we're moving on to the next segment. get into the next segment, which is Who Am I? Supposedly what the internet has asked about me, so let's see. Alright, what interests Stefan about being the sales and marketing director? So what really interests me is being able to meet the challenges that come up with this task. How would Stefan define the classified online advertising in Sri Lanka? Well, it is certainly a growing space and uh, online classifieds obviously is popular because of the convenient factor and the variety that it produces. When did Stefan join Ikman.lk? So that would be in 2013. 
What is Stefan's biggest strength? Again, I think I said this before, the ability to look at something and immediately make sense out of it and know what to do about it. When was Stefan born? I was born in 1969. Now you guys know how old I am. Who does Stefan admire the most? Actually two people. One would be Oprah Winfrey and the other would be J.K. Rowland. How does Stefan become a marketing director? It started off with humble beginnings, obviously, as a trainee salesperson. Worked hard and reached the position where I really am now. How tall is Stefan? Should I stand up for this or what? Uh, five feet, seven inches. How would Stefan describe his childhood? A happy childhood. An extremely happy childhood. How would Stefan describe himself in one word? Hardworking. How does Stefan get motivated? The tougher the task, the more motivated I feel, really. How many languages can Stefan speak? Unfortunately, just the two, English and Sinhalese. Is Stefan scared of ghosts? I believe in ghosts, but I, I don't think I would be afraid of a ghost, though. Is Stefan on Twitter? Strangely, not yet, but perhaps I should get on quite soon. Is Stefan a cat or dog person? Both, I just love animals, irrespective of what type of animal it is. Is Stefan French? Take one look at me. Do I sound French or do I even look French? Absolutely not, 100% Sri Lankan. Is Stefan married? For sure, absolutely, happily married. What is Stefan's greatest accomplishment? Obviously, uh, being where I am today, it took a lot of hard work, it took a lot of dedication. What is Stefan's other hobbies? Reading for sure. I watch a whole lot of television, so that is basically how I spend my time. What was Stefan's dream job growing up? To be a lawyer. What is Stefan's biggest pet peeve? For sure, dishonesty. That would really, really annoy me. What is Stefan's favorite Netflix show? I'm watching a really awesome comedy right now. It's Shit's Creek. I think it's hilariously funny. What is Stefan's favorite non-physical attribute about himself? My sense of humor. Does Stefan still watch cartoons? Not so much, but if there is a good uh, animated movie, I would watch it. Does Stefan cook? Yes, certainly do. I love cooking. Does Stefan wear contacts? No, I wear glasses though. I don't wear contacts. Does Stefan have a nickname? Most people call me Stefan, but some call me Steffi. Does Stefan believe in karma? Absolutely. What goes around certainly does come around. That was a wrap with Who Am I? I guess I'm now an open book. Let's move on to the next segment. segment which is titled my first I guess it's about all my first experiences your first thought today my first thought well I, I really envy people who come and sit in front of the camera because it's it's quite a task really that was my first thought I thought it would be easier than this first thing you do when you wake up Look at my messages on my phone. It's been a habit for quite some time now. First thing you ate today? It was breakfast and it was Kiribat and Lunamiris. First lesson from dad? Wake up early to go to school. That was, that was one lesson. Always wake up early. First advice from mom? Keep your school books neat and tidy. I mean, I still remember. Dog years were, were not tolerated. First time you got into trouble? All right, the first time I got into trouble was when we actually left a restaurant without paying the bill, and that put all of us into big trouble. First school? First school, 
was the greatest St. Peter's College. First vehicle? My first vehicle was a motorcycle. That was my first vehicle. First time traveling abroad? I was 19 years old when we went to Bangkok. First lesson about life? Every day is, you come across some lesson about life for sure. First best friend? First best friend was in kindergarten. First time you were recognized in public? Perhaps somebody who knew me, I think, who happened to be in public. First dance with someone you love? So my first dance would have been when I was a page boy and I had to dance with the flower girl. First time you ever got embarrassed? Perhaps having to dance with the flower girl. First time helping someone out without asking for anything in return? That happens all the time. First mobile phone? The first mobile phone was what we called at that time the Gadol Bhage, when I first started working at 19 years old. First love? First love would have been when I was schooling. Yeah, that would be more or less correct. First time on stage? A concert when I did when I was eight years old. That was the first time I was on stage. First crush? Again in school, first crush. The first movie you saw at the cinema? Yes, when I was a kid, I recall seeing Chitty Chitty Bam Bam. Your first role model? Ironically, I've never had role models. I've always learned things myself. Your first pet? It was a dog and her name was Cindy. The first thing you notice about a person? The first thing I always try to look for is uh, some element of intelligence. Your first childhood memory? For sure, playing cricket. The first thing on your bucket list? Right now would be to swim because it's long overdue and I really need to get this done. Your first job? Was a trainee salesperson and it was in television. Your first heartbreak? Again, when, when you're ditched obviously and this happened in school. First time you realized you could succeed? The fact that I actually got through my old levels. Your first salary? Was actually 1,200 rupees and that was my first job as well. Your first adventure experience? This expedition we had through Singaraja Forest, that was really, really adventurous. Your first fear? Not being able to achieve my target. The first person you spoke to today? Was my wife in the morning. The first person you tell when something exciting happened? Again, my wife. The first birthday gift you received? It was actually a set of these little combat soldiers. Yeah, I remember that very well. The first time you celebrated a huge win. Yeah, again, I guess when we got through our levels, I think we all got together and really celebrated it big time. The first time you felt lonely. Yeah, two days into my travels abroad, I really started missing a lot of people. The first time you cooked. Yeah, first time I cooked, I believe I was 16 years old and it was beef curry. The first sport you played. Basketball, that was the first sport I played and it was for my house I represented at school. First time you got rejected? The first time I was rejected was perhaps my second interview that I went for at Kandos as a sales person. Your first big disappointment? Yeah, perhaps being rejected for that job interview I mentioned, that was really disappointing. The first time you quit a job? Yeah, it would have been my first job. Yeah, I quit to get into media, television more specific. The first time you surprised your parents? Actually getting through my O levels, they never thought I would make it. First time climbing a mountain? Again, this adventure that we went on to Sigiria, I mean, there was quite a lot of mountains that we really climbed. First time quitting a bad habit? Now, when I was a kid, I had this pillow that I used to clutch on and my parents somehow took that away from me because it was pretty nasty and dirty. First time donating to charity? I think it was signing up for an SOS contribution. Yeah, that would be the first time. First time starting up a business? Yeah, that would get me into trouble because you're not supposed to hold any other position or have any other business, so no. That brings us to the end of this episode of Ask Me. I hope you found out more than what you knew about me. And thank you for watching.